Next, we are going to invite Egypt, India, Brazil, and Colombia. Japanese style music education is extended by Yamaha Corporation, Music Popularization Group Manager, Asia Pacific Seal Division. Mr. Otake Yuji, to talk about the learning through implementation of Japanese style of music education and return to Japanese education. Mr. Otake, please. Thank you very much for the introduction. Good afternoon. I am Otake of Yamaha Corporation. Uh, I will spend about 15 minutes uh, to talk about under this title, learning through implementation of Japanese style music education and return to Japanese education. Well, our project is now adopted in Edgeport. There are four projects, in fact. On the left, um, you, we have a poster presentation that I hope that you will be able to see or to see later. But rather than to focus on the presentation of the project, I'd like to summarize the learnings on our part, what we have learned from this project. There are two topics as an agenda. Uh, first, uh, what is the footstep of uh, Yamaha School Project in Edgeport, Japan? And the second, there's no clear answer yet, but uh, there's some learning uh, through the project, and there is something that we would like to return back to Japanese education. First, what are the backgrounds uh, of Yamaha School? And the Yamaha Corporation is specialized in the music instruments. There are uh, two uh, mo real motorcycles that is a separate company, and we are dedicated to musical instruments. And we are trying to share passion and performance, and we are getting involved in music. So excitement, music, and uh, technology, and uh, all the sensibilities uh, that we nurtured from sound and music, use that as expertise and tried to commit to create and excitement and cultural inspiration. Our company was established uh, quite um, uh, old, and uh, we have a sales network of 30 countries. We have manufacturing and sales companies around the world. Now, we have a hardware sales, and uh, breakdown is as follows. About 20 years ago, our company was focusing on Japan. About half of the sales was Japan, but Japanese market was has been shrinking, and China and the rest of the world has been uh, growing quite nicely. So this is the breakdown of a break uh, geographical area. So think about the business. Other regions in China are important for future business, and. We need to educate the people so that people will be playing in musical instruments. It's really important. And that's why around 2022 that we started out with a school project. This is a part to um, generating demands. But we are hoping that uh, all the students will learn to enjoy music uh, so that they will enjoy a peace in their mind and ultimately the whole world become peaceful. So that is a very big a vision and we are trying to make contribution. Now, we tried to uh, popularize uh, the musical instruments uh, so that people can casually enjoy playing musical instruments. So there are subject countries. We selected some of the shortlisted countries, and then we were provided all in one package as a solution. And depending on the setting of each country, we customized our ideas and doing activities. The reason is that depending on the country you talk about, there are some strong demands for the music, or there are less demand uh, for the music. So depending on the situation in the country, what solution would best fit uh, is something that we need to think about. So we are um, very ingenious in trying to, to uh, bring about the solution. So uh, seven countries, 7,100 students uh, were uh, 7,100 schools of a 3 million students have enjoyed uh, using our instrument, musical instruments and start to enjoy music. Now, here is our project promotion structure. So um, the public schools uh, music education is our target. So our partners will usually the Ministry of Education of a receiving country. So we are just a private entity. Therefore, it is very hard for us to uh, access. 
and therefore we use the assistance from the Japanese government, a mixed or MOFA, a JICA, JETRO, and academic institutions and others that we make a partnership and approach to each country. Now, at the time of the start, 2015 or so, what had happened back then? To reflect upon this, SDGs were finally be adopted in 2015. So that was to set the targets, uh, 17 goals set for uh, 2030, and no one's left behind. And uh, uh, all the stakeholder has to be get engaged and that they were uh, emphasized in SDG goals. On our side, our projects were not actually reflective of SDGs, in fact. But uh, no one will be left behind in quality education, sustainability, and a collaboration with various stakeholders are actually completely in line with SDG goals. And uh, Edgeport Japan was started in 2016 as an initiative. And uh, Edgeport Japan actually made a press release in September 2015 that uh, uh, next will start to export Japanese double education. And uh, with that announcement, we approach uh, next and uh, working together with the ministry. Here is the government's initiative in this project and uh, uh, Japan's grant assistance for cultural grassroots projects and uh, JETRO and JICA has their own uh, program saying tapping to all available opportunities and we have been implementing the projects so far. Now, the slides and onwards, I'd like to give some case studies in three countries. First is the case study in Vietnam. For Vietnam, education of uh, music was uh, provided in the classroom, but there were no musical instruments uh, provided to the students. And in 2022, the, there was a teacher's a training uh, program is to be changed, and therefore uh, tried to introduce the musical instruments and uh, Yokohama National University universities and uh, um, we've approached to the uh, teacher training schools and uh, finally, Japan's uh, musical instruments uh, you, uh, is used in their musical uh, classes, and uh, now um, the, their classroom is to be studied. In Egypt, as uh, Professor Kyomi mentioned earlier, uh, our program started in 2020. Uh, JICA, the uh, SME SDG Business Support Project, uh, accepted our proposal, and uh, EJS is provided where the recorders is used and the students are playing musical instruments. And we'd like to roll out this for the nationwide in Egypt. At the same time, Egyptian government says that the evidence is important. So this is uh, Gakugeda University Children Institute for, of, of the Future. We are implementing measurements of non-cognitive skills. The case three is in India. There are highly populated area so public and private schools, number of schools is actually quite different. Uh, so uh, millions of schools exist in India. For such schools, we tried to put the musical classes and uh, we are doing our activities now in India. There is no single national curriculum, but a curriculum is set by each education board of local community. And for that, we try to insert the musical instruments education. And we are approaching to the private schools as well. But for the uh, private school, we are working with the education board in Delhi and try to do a trial. And we will measure the non-cognitive skills. So I have just presented three case studies, but why? do we need education through music and musical instruments? Non-cognitive skills need to be developed. And for that, the creative and collaborative work is needed. And compared to other classes, 
subjects, um, the music and musical instruments are easily uh, tapped into for growing non-cognitive skills, and therefore we try to establish a positive relationship with non-cognitive skills now. In addition, in regard to teacher training courses, until a while ago, uh, from advanced countries to developing countries, and there's just a one-way transfer of uh, instructions. Uh, however, nowadays we are very horizontal and we are uh, interchangeable um, where the learnings and collaborations are being made, and we are learning and try to, to feedback to Japanese education. So that was the first half of my presentation. I'd like to uh, play several videos, examples of uh, India, Egypt, and Vietnam. We would like to pick up uh, teachers' voices as well as the professional educator. Now, I will play the video. Uh, what I learned from this program is a classroom is not just for learning music, but it's also a space for collaboration to develop social skills. So in, in the classroom, we divide the whole classroom into pairs. So, and in, in each pair, one student gets to be a leader and, the, and they keep taking turns in this. So every student gets to experience what it's like to be a leader, to lead and to also listen, to express and also to listen. Equal opportunity for everyone. For example, when I was young, when I was learning uh, music in school, I mean, we were only, only the students who already knew how to play music were allowed to play instruments. But in this case, everyone gets an opportunity. And the students also feel very happy that they are being rec recognized for their skills, for their talents. And also they really enjoy that they get to collaborate with their friends. All of them get to play together. So something that we take for granted in the Japanese musical education, it's not actually common of uh, playing all uh, all the students get together to play the recorder is really unusual in India and the social skills are being acquired and the teacher themselves are feeling firsthand. Next example is a comment from a teacher in Egypt. كمان بقى عندهم إحساس بالمسؤولية تجاه الآلة بتاعتهم أنا مسؤول عن آلة خاصة بيا وإزاي حافظ عليها إزاي نظفها إزاي أقدر أدي بيها واستغل الفرصة اللي أنا خدتها بالعكس نقل ده كمان لإخواته داخل الأسرة Excuse me, uh, the Arabian uh, is actually spoken and you might uh, understood some part. But what she said was that the children are enjoying extensively and participating in classes and the recorders has to be taken care of. And the maintenance work of the recorders are also touched upon in the classroom. So therefore it brings your skills to the house to their home so for the mothers and the sisters that the students are introducing and the next is a comment from vietnam giờ học ở bài học thêm bài làm bài tập ở nhà các con đã rất là say sưa luyện tập và có thể trình diễn biểu diễn cho ông bà bố mẹ tặng ông bà bố mẹ and this teacher says that the children are enjoying and they are passionately enjoying not just in the classroom but also playing at home and uh, playing for their grandparents and their mothers. And uh, there's a comment from MOE officer in Egypt. So, um, school principal's uh, comment is that the life skills are being acquired. So, it is not the playing instruments, but they are life skills learning is something that educational uh, officer is paying attention to. So, we were delighted to um, have such uh, feedback. And in what way we can return something back to the Japanese education? First point is we are conducting measurement of development of non cognitive skills. And this is right in the middle. So, we have not reached any conclusions yet. But as you see, the pie chart, so in Egypt, 
uh, this is a picture of uh, music uh, classes and we took a video and we used that to do a, a teacher's training and also there's a peer work there's a comparison between teacher centered and the peer group first year was mostly the teacher centered but in the second year it was reduced to 80 percent a peer and group work has increased tremendously that means that uh, as time goes by, the teachers have uh, acquired uh, the teaching methods and uh, such a change is observed. And the second point is, in the country that we developed, digital materials is being utilized for that, ultimately, in order to reduce the uh, burden of the teachers and a number of music teachers are actually reducing. So digitalization of unplayed materials could be uh, one of the solutions. And the third point is the exchange of students. And this is uh, available because it is a music. And uh, uh, as you see from the video, uh, they, they are exchanging video and tried to exchange uh, having a cultural exchange. And the fourth is introduction uh, through the books and medias. As an example, SDG goals and uh, students to recognize SDG as their own initiatives is promoted. And the summary, just quickly, um, we've uh, talked about the situation of primary music education. The situation is different in each country. Through this project, we are trying to verbalize and systematize the Japanese music education. There's a need for digital materials, and that could be bring back, brought back to the Japanese education. That will be the next phase. And because it is a music which can uh, connect the people, there is a strong character of music. And all around the world, there are many phone conflicts. Yet, like I mentioned earlier, ultimately, whole world had to be more peaceful. And for that to happen, we want the current students to enjoy uh, the exchange through music. Thank you very much. It was a very quick, but I'd like to conclude my remarks. Thank you very much. Mr. Thank you very much.